hello all uh, in this video we will verify uh, the use of incremental aggregation and how actually we have to use it in the informal command so uh, to start with we will we'll first see uh, what are the source table and what are the target tables so our source table is uh, the salary table uh, wherein we will store or we will have historical data of uh, particular resource and its salary so if uh, any new records get added for this, the particular user the current record flag will be uh, the current record flag of new record will be y and old record will get changed to n so basically in the mapping we will do the incremental load uh, based on the current record flag so at the time we will process only records which are having current record flag as y and we will not process any record which having current record flag as n and at target level uh, our table will be like this so it will it won't have any uh, historical data and it will store the aggregated uh, salary or average salary of particular resource so just now what we will do is we will translate this target table and so we don't have any data at target level and there are four we will create a mapping first uh, to insert data from source to target and uh, in between we will create we will add the aggregator so and our source table is salary and target table is average salary in between we will add So at target level we will be passing only th three columns. First we need to add the source qualifier override to fetch only records which are having current record flag as Y. Aggregating the records with ID. So, we have done with the mapping. We will create corresponding workflow. Now over here we don't have to change anything at transformation uh, aggregator level whereas at properties level we just have to select or check this incremental aggregation property. So we have done with the workflow. What we will do is, uh, we don't have any data at target level as of now, uh, we will select update over here, and we will change this to normal load, insert and instead of update as insert, so if there are no records at target level, the records will get inserted, so as of now there are no records at target level, so all four records coming from the source should get inside it. We will see, we will run this mapping. Okay. 
So those qualify as raid for records and same number of records got inside a red target level will verify whether records really got inside a red target level or not. So yes, there are four records got inside a red target level. What we'll do is we'll add one more record at target level. Let's say is the curve and 400. And uh, we'll change the rest of records with current record flag as n. So to do that, we'll change current record flag to n. There, salary equal to 10. So now only one record will get processed, and that will be as a curve 100. And uh, what we are expecting is. Uh, the fourth record, the record at target level, uh, this particular record, the average salary is currently 10. So if we add select 10 plus divided by 2, so there has to be a 55. So record at as this particular record, the average salary should get updated to 55. So we'll see, we'll commit the records. Level, only one record will get processed and this record and because of this record the salary at target level should get updated to 55 so we'll just verify we'll run the mapping with me. so if you see here only one record got processed and same number of record got updated or inside will verify that whether it got updated or inside at, at target level so there has to be only four, and four records at target level with uh, record at is with 55 so yes if you see here the average salary for is got updated to 55 so what really happened over here is uh, even though uh, source qualifier has read only one per one record, uh, that means as her with salary as hundred. Uh, what information that I really did is uh, it has created the to see the session log. It has created uh, when you are selecting uh, incremental aggregation. Uh, Informatica really create index cache and data cache for the aggregator transformation and uh, over here uh, for, for next time when it runs it uh, will pick the values of salary values from these particular index cache and data cache and it read the old values uh, from these particular uh, caches and uh, over there it will perform the aggregation. So the advantage of uh, using incremental aggregation is you in the source qualifier you can filter the records or you can use incremental uh, load uh, at the same time you can uh, do the aggregation of all the records or, or of all the records. So you so suppose uh, in the source qualifier or at source level you are having one crore of records and you really want to do ag aggregation of all the old records then in that case you do not have to read all one crore of records from the source qualifier if you use incremental aggregation you can also implement uh, incremental load and uh, at the same time you can use uh, aggregation of the old records so this is the main advantage of using incremental aggregation which will really helps in the performance thanks for all this video